I would like to make a short statement. I do not usually discuss urgent questions, but today I received one, and rather than discuss the matter in the Chamber, I thought it would be better for me to set out my thoughts on a particular issue which involves procedure of this House. The House will be aware that the Prime Minister today has appointed the Right Honourable David Cameron as Secretary of State for Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Affairs. This is not the first time in recent years that a Cabinet Minister has been appointed in the House of Lords, but given the gravity of the current international situation, it is especially important that this House is able to scrutinise the work of the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office effectively. I have therefore commissioned advice from the clerks about possible options for enhancing security of the work of the Foreign Secretary when that post is filled by a member of the other House. I also look forward to hearing the Government's proposals on how the Foreign Secretary will be properly accountable to this House. I do not propose to respond to points of order on this subject today until the advice I have referred to has been received until I have heard the Government's own proposals, but I can assure the House that I am fully aware of the need for the honourable and right honourable members to be able to hold the Government to account in this area, especially at the current time, and I shall do everything I can to ensure that we are able to do so.